Hello student in this video i am solving most important question from the chapter probability for 3 marks so let's begin the first question is a fair coin with one marked on one face and six on the other hand other face and a fair die are both toss find the probability that sum of the number turn up 3 and 12 two questions we have to solve in sub questions in this question so given data will collect first a coin is given a coin the first coin when we toss a coin we'll get head and tail and here it is marked on that coin one and one on the one face and other is six so numbers are given we'll consider that when we toss a coin we'll get one and six and on the other hand a fair die is tossed so as we know when a die is tossed which are the possible outcomes 1 2 6 numbers we are getting 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so using this two will make sample space sample space pairing of the number with one i will pair with all six number and starting from six with the second number six again will pair with each number okay so one with one and one with two will pair one with three and 1 4 1 5 1 6 after that starts from 6 again will pair with all six number that is 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 and 6 with 6 so this is our sample space now sample space containing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 10 11 12 12 12 12 12 12 12 total numbers in sample space number of element in sample space are total when we count we'll get 12 okay now the first question is the first question which they ask how many number the sum probability that sum of the number that turns up 3 when we add this pairing number which are the number when we add we'll get 3 when we add this first pair 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is 2 okay when we add this one 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is we are getting 3 So we'll consider this number here. Any set will consider a. In that, when we add these two number one and two, we are getting three. Okay. Next, one plus three is four. One plus four is five, six, seven. In this number is going to be increased when we add both the number. But we want only three. So only one pair, one and two. When we add, we'll get three. because 1 plus 2 is 3 which they asked in the question so probability of this event a can be calculated only one number we got here one pair and uh, number of element favorable outcome divided by total number of uh, element in the sample space formula as you remember so favorable outcomes are one here divided by to total number of element in sample space are 12 1 by 12 is the answer for first one the second sub question is the same probability that sum of the number turns of 3 uh, sorry 12 when we add for the second when we add we want 12 sum of the number so 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 in this way when we add the last term 6 plus 6 is 12 we are getting so i will consider any event b equal to when we add 6 and 6 we are getting 12 only one number that gives us 12 because sum of the 6 and 6 is 12 which is required so probability of b is again same formula we use number of element in b event b divided by number of element in sample space which is 12 so 1 divided by 12 is the answer again okay next move on to the next question the next question is if e and f are events such that probability of e is given which is 1 by 4 and probability of f is 1 by 2 probability of e and f is 1 by 8 find probability of e or f and probability of not e and not f two sub questions we have to find the first one is everything is given here probability of e and f remember when we are using uh, and and or and means here union we have to find and or means intersection okay remember and means union and or means intersection 
okay the first question is we have to find probability of e or f e or f union we have to find and and means intersection so probability of e or f can be written as this can be written probability of e or means union f and you know the formula e union f which you used in the lesson sets that is p of e plus p of f minus intersection between both the sets e intersection f okay so substitute each element is given p of e is it is 1 by 4 and plus p of f is 1 by 2 minus intersection between them intersection means and it is also given that is 1 by 8 Now the LCM of four, two, and eight is eight. Four two is eight, and two four is eight. Eight one is eight. Two plus four is six. Six minus one is five divided by eight is the answer for first one. In the same way, when we go to the, through the second one, that is, we are finding probability of not E, not E, and not F. Here, not means complement. complement of sets we are using that is probability of not e can be written e dash and means intersection and not f can be written f dash which can be written as e dash intersection f dash is probability of e union f complement and as you know how to find the complement the complement is the whole set minus union of the set 1 minus probability of e union f to find the complement probability of e union f complement we are using 1 minus probability of e union f okay so 1 minus e union f answer as we got here probability of e union f which is 5 divided by 8 using lcm we will solve this 8 ones are 8 minus 5 divided by 8 can be written 8 minus 5 is 3. 3 upon 8 is the answer for second one. Okay. In this way, the next question is. It is also for three marks. A and B are events such that probability of A is given that is 0.42 and remember the numbers are in decimal. Probability of B is 0.48 and probability of a and b is also given which is 0.16 we have to find probability of not a the first question is probability of not a we have to find not a means complement of a probability of a dash we have to find how to find the a dash it is 1 minus probability of a from the 1 we have to subtract probability of a to get its complement that is 1 minus probability of a is which is given 0.42 0.421 minus 0.42 will get when we subtract both we will get 0.58 subtract one from uh, 0.42 from one in the same way second question is probability of not b not b p of b complement for the b complement subtract probability of b from 1 1 minus probability of b is given which is 0.48 1 minus 0.48 is 0.52 the third question is probability of a or b as i said a or b or means union probability of a union b we have to find a union b can be written p of a plus p of b minus intersection between both a intersection b p of a plus b minus intersection between both substitute now probability of a is 0.42 plus probability of b is 0.48 minus intersection between both probability of a intersection b is 0.16 and means intersection it is given 0.16 add both the number and subtract 0.16 will get 0.74 is the answer okay the next question is from the same chapter it is also important for three marks in class 11th of school 40% of students study maths 
फोर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच आर दोज आर स्टडिंग मैथ्स सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट इज गिवन फोर्टी इट इज इन परसेंटेज सो विल कन्वर्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन फ्रैक्शन विल डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स आर फोर्टी परसेंट नेक्स्ट कंटिन्यू दी क्वेश्चन थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट स्टडी बायोलॉजी थर्टी परसेंट आर स्टूडेंट दे आर लर्निंग बायो सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट आई विल कंसिडर बी फॉर मैथमेटिक्स यम biology students are given 30% so 30 to convert in fraction will divide by 100 because it is mentioned in percentage okay next 10% student study both maths and biology 10% both in the indicates that it is intersection mathematics intersection bio are 10% student 10 divided by 100 next we have to find if a student selected at random from the class find the probability that he will be studying maths or bio maths or bio we have to find that is probability of mathematics union biology m union b we have to find okay so use the formula of probability of m union b m and b stands for maths and bio probability of m plus probability of bio student minus intersection between both maths and biology that is probability of mathematics students are 40 40 divided by 100 plus biology students are 30 30 divided by 100 intersection between them is 10 10 divided by 100 as as the lcm is 100 so directly we can add and subtract the numerator that is 40 plus 30 minus 10 divided by 100 40 plus 30 is uh, 60 70 minus 10 will get 60 divided by 100 0 0 cancel 2 3 6 2 5 10 3 by 5 is the answer for a student who study who will studying maths or biology okay next move on to the next question the question is a bag contain 9 disc of which 4 are red in color 3 are blue in color and 2 are yellow the disc are similar in shape and size a disc is random uh, drawn at random from a bag find the probability it will be red and the second question yellow third one is blue and next question is not blue okay Total number of discs are given. Nine discs are there. A bag contains. So it is given that number of sample space. Sample space is given. How many are there? In total, nine discs are there. Okay. In that, four are red. The red discs are four. Three are blue. Blue discs are three. And two are yellow. Yellow discs are given, which are two. Okay. we have to find first one for red okay the first question is how many probability of red disc p of red probability of red is how many disc are there red four are there so we'll write four divided by total number root from the sample space that is 9 for red disc we'll get probability 4 divided by 9 if it is divisible we can divide otherwise keep as it is The second question is probability of yellow. How many discs are yellow are there? Probability of yellow is yellow two discs are there. So two in the numerator favorable outcome divided by total number of outcomes are nine. Total discs are nine. It is given in the sample space we have nine discs. The third question is probability of blue. probability of blue disc is blue disc are 3 and in total sample space containing 9 3 ones are 3 threes are it is divisible so 1 by 3 will get the last question is fourth one probability of not blue how many disc are not blue we have to find in total okay so not blue we know the blue disc are in the ratio 1 by 3 probability of blue disc is 1 by 3 not blue we are finding so i will subtract from 1 1 minus probability of blue disc we have to find 
that is 1 minus blue disc answer we got here as it is 1 by 3 and LCM using LCM method 3 ones are 3 minus 1 divided by 3 that is 2 divided by 3 the probability of disc which are not in blue we got 2 by 3 and probability of blue disc are 1 by 3 probability of yellow is 2 by 9 probability of red is 4 divided by 9 thank you for watching